good. One of the most overlooked steps of installing ITBs is make sure to synchronize them or to balance them. If you're familiar with multi-carburetor setups, you know essentially what this means because for ITBs, the process is, a, is more or less the same as for carburetors. The thing is, is people buy ITBs and they slap them on their car and a lot of them don't know that you have to synchronize them or people who know about synchronizing think that they don't have to. A couple of reasons people often come up with is, oh, well, they're brand new, they're out of the box, you shouldn't need to synchronize all of them together. Or they go, oh, these ITBs were already on a running car, so it shouldn't matter to balance them, they're already balanced. But the thing is, the purpose of balancing the ITBs is to make sure you get the same amount of air into every single cylinder. With a standard intake manifold setup, you don't need to do this because all of the air is pulled from one vacuum chamber, and so it's all the same, essentially, for all four cylinders that balance out. With ITBs, you don't have one massive vacuum chamber for everything. Each cylinder is gonna flow a little bit differently. This is because a little bit different machine work, a little bit different uh, ring sealing, a little bit different valve sealing, there's just gonna be minor differences in airflow. And with ITBs, you have to make sure to account for that. Fortunately, balancing ITBs is actually really simple and straightforward. It's easy to do, it only takes a few minutes and uses fairly minor or inexpensive tools. For my ITBs, I just need a seven millimeter wrench and a Allen wrench, I think this is a two millimeter. That's to be able to adjust the set points for each of the ITBs to be able to get it to match airflow. This is the one specialty tool that you'll need for balancing ITBs. What this does is this goes into your velocity stack or into the throttle body and it measures the airflow through. There's a little needle on here that as the air flows, it moves. Fortunately, the tool for actually measuring the airflow is relatively inexpensive. It's common for carburetors, it's common for ITBs. You can buy them on Amazon, among other places, and they're all pretty much the same. I'm sure there are some that are higher quality. Uh, the one that I have, I got from PanicMade. I run PanicMade's wiring harness and ECU setup, as well as these beautiful 52 millimeter ITBs. This is also their filter backing plate that I've paired with the Piper Cross filter, all available from Panic Made. For each throttle body, you've got these adjusters to be able to adjust the bottom set point for the throttle bodies. Uh, this has the lock nut and then an adjusting bolt or screw in the middle. We've got one, two, and three. What this means for this ITB setup is that all of the airflow is going to be based off of this back one. So we'll figure out what this one is, we'll measure the airflow here, and then we'll adjust one, two, and three to match that one. I got to give a shout out to Annex Suspension and Just Engineering for being supporters of the channel and content. Some of the best steering and suspension parts for A86. If you're looking at buying a set of coilovers, Annex is the way to go. Check the video description for an Annex discount code and links to both Annex website and Just Engineering website. All right. Now we're checking airflow. We can see this one is flowing at about uh, six and a half. The next one here, this guy's flowing a little bit more, like a seven or eight mark. This guy's flowing significantly more. We're not gonna back this one down. Same thing with this one. So cylinders one and two, we gotta back down quite a bit. Cylinder three, gotta back down just a little bit. So we'll start with cylinder three. Okay, now I'm gonna try and lock it down. Now on this one, I'm gonna try and show you. I'm trying to get to the six mark, so you can see it on here. back this one down quite a bit. <sighs> Real quick, so what happened there was the airflow for cylinders one and two for these guys uh, they're flowing so much air that when I adjusted these two, it actually reduced so much air going into the engine that it stalled. Uh, so I had to go back and reset my 
idle, my base idle speed from the cylinder one, you know, right there with a the throttle cable. And then had to go back through and reset everything again uh, to the same airflow, but we got there. And now we can see after adjusting every single one of them, we got this at uh, just under five. Got this one at just under five. This one at just under five. And the last cylinder, just under five. So this one is dead set on the panic ITVs and you adjust them one by one until you get them all to match up. It's interesting because after you adjust one, you need to go back and check because it changes your idle RPM uh, as you adjust the airflow. That's pretty much it for balancing or synchronizing your ITBs, whatever you want to call it. This actually smoothed out my idle quite a bit because of the difference in airflow I had from cylinders you know, one and two to cylinders three and four. It was such a massive difference that I had a little bit of a misfire that I wouldn't have been able to diagnose otherwise because I would have been chasing my tail for a misfire when it was an airflow issue. As soon as I fixed that, it smoothed right out. If this was helpful for you, please make sure to like and comment on the video. And if you like this kind of content as well as other A86 stuff, check out my channel, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Thanks guys.